I say refresher for the the listeners is probably not going to go amiss. Yeah, I, I was going to say it's been a couple weeks. Hi, hi, stream. It's been a couple weeks. Uh, we are back. I do, once again, this is we don't. I don't know what's still going on. Things are still up in the air. But hi, uh, yeah, uh, we're just going to ignore all that other shit because we're here for the dungeons and the durgans, and we're back in a solid with my alphabets. Fringe. No, nobody. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank you, Rain. Yeah, thank you for encouraging my bullshit, Rain. That's why I keep you around. Don't encourage his bullshit. That's why I keep you and Cyrus around. It's that's the important. only reason that I I fit in here. Let's be real. <laughs> that's not true. This is I'm entirely <laughs> too verbose for other people to put up with me. Ah, oh, you're still one of my favorite people. But hi, uh, let me go over to my live screen so I don't forget, because I will forget, because I am uh, special, is what we're going to call it. Uh, but last time we left okay. off, y'all were getting back from um, dealing with the roach. Uh, you met with Sam, and uh, you got back to your ship. Where uh, one of you decided to go diving and find uh, a bunch of dead bodies. Because, you know, pirate doc, huh? I wonder what they do with the dead bodies. Yeah. Uh, but then proceed well, to find... Go ahead. Well, to be fair, I need more corpses. I, I know. I was just saying, to be fair, I, I need more. All of the more. You're not wrong. <laughs> uh... But the, then uh, Shriek also found some uh, runes, uh, both in Draconic and Celestial, uh, which he then brought down uh, Carr and K to get a little more information on. Uh, after, thank you for the drink water, Jenny. I will drink my water. Hey, Jenny. Water has been drunk. Uh, you guys had also recently found a symbol kind of lying around after one of you, not sure who, natural fucking 20 to steal somebody's hat. Yeah. Don't know who. That sounds about right. Mm. Wait, I'm actually who, who did this? Who was you? Who's the one that steals? <laughs> That's I probably, didn't roll a nat 20. That's probably I just have an because insane they have all that. Yeah, I was going to say it was like know? a 32 or some bullshit. Yes, I just have a plus 18 to sleight of hand. Yeah, it was like a 32. And just. Because like, you just stole his gun. And then you're like, yeah. I, 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 what, you can either steal the bullets off his pouch or you can steal the bullets off his hat. And you're like, I'm stealing his hat. I'm like, okay. I was only given the option of a hat. I was told I you only see bullets on his head. So I said, <laughs> or you could go for the pouch. And you're like, I want the yeah. hat. I'm not risking it. <laughs> ah, you don't know what's in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys had found that symbol also uh, below the waters. Uh, and that's where you all left off. I don't... I don't know if you guys went for a long rest or you were still dealing with the ramifications of that. I believe we did take a long rest because I have a note that a day passed. So, right. yeah. at the end of the session notes. So you are waking up on your ship that is still very, very empty. Oh, we, we were gonna hide. We can people. fix that. I just need more dead bodies. Well, that too, I guess. Can your reanimated corpses have skills? Look, they do their best, okay? <laughs> well, we saw. If, you, if you're reanimating pirate bodies, surely they got something to remember, right? Depends on how long that they've been dead. Uh, I'm still working on that. Uh, 
Honestly, I think our best bet is just to hire a temporary crew. Oh, and just slowly replace them with the Yeah, pirates. for now, certainly. Or, or ritualistically sacrifice them and convert them into corpse pirates. I knew that was coming. I was like, yeah, I was thinking in my head, like, I'm not going to say shit about that. <laughs> I, I knew it just convert them so you don't have to pay them in the end. Be part of one cult. I don't want to be a part of another. I slowly raise a dagger out of my cauldron. Well, no one said anything cult related. Okay, all I said was I could kill them and bring them back to life. You did, you no, did you say go. ritualistic. It's very culty. That is pretty culty. When you get ritualistic, it gets culty. Yeah, I was going to say, then we lost him. Yes, God, you're not here. <laughs> that that was that was to Reem, not to uh Car. Uh so what are you guys doing? Uh waiting to figure out what Reem is doing. Other than disappearing we, on us. Should we like uh put out flyers or like a like a like a post board for like crew members? I don't really know. I use minor a... illusion to make the illusion of a sign that says hiring crew. Okay, but is that like gonna like stay there forever or like because like I, I feel like Oh it's not, concentration, like... as long as I'm sitting here it'll stay. Oh, okay. And somebody there, has to be already here to... a board. But magic. Yeah, but I, I'm not gonna lie. Part of me really wants to go back into town and see if I can get bullets for this gun I just found on the ground and totally didn't take from anybody. Oh. oh. <laughs> Someone did not prove that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hello? What happened? I think, I think Reem left and came back. Oh, probably. Do, do. But no, I was I was going to the town to see if we should need any last minute supplies. Do you want me to just go post like a, a thing on the board while I'm out there? Yeah, I was going to say, because you just have a five-foot image that says hiring crew. It's big enough. Like, no, I don't think it's pointless. I think it's useful. I'm just saying we might want like more publicity than just the thing next to our ship. Because most people... Can't you just ask the place where you got the ship from? I cancel my spell. And then I float off in my cauldron down the, down the dock. I'm gonna guess that's the way she's going. Just a question. Alright, so what's everybody doing? There he has heard none of that and is just up in the crow's nest. He didn't tell anyone he was going up there. Yep, yeah, I'm Brian. What's up? I mean, we should probably get food and everything. I highly doubt this. the boat was stocked. Yeah, and I, and I do truthfully want to get some more bullets. I feel like that might be useful now that I have a gun. Oh, wait, guys. At oh, the end God. of... Powerful at, kind of magic. At the end of last session, uh, I generated uh, 10 gold worth of limes <laughs> that are on the ship. I did not forget this. I remember that. <laughs> However, I don't think limes is the only thing we want to eat for like three days. It's effectively six crates worth of limes. Yeah. I don't like limes that much. Like, I don't like them that much, though. Margaritas. <laughs> well, I can generate any non-magical fluid that's a material cost of ten gold or less. So I could make a cauldron full of gin. I floated away, though. <laughs> well, let's go get food. Yep. Alright, so I'm almost loaded away. Uh, Carl, what are you doing? If you can speak. If you cannot, feel free to start typing. Uh, oh, chaotic being known as Treek. Yes. 
Oh, that one. <laughs> Wrong chaotic being. Oops. Hi. Treek, what are you doing? Um, well, Treek's just gonna... What is Treek gonna do? I don't know, this one I'm asking you. <laughs> it's been a while. Can you give me a run, run back to you? Uh, please. Alright. Uh, Therius? I'm just gonna tell uh... the crow's ass? Or you see people leaving? He's looking out at sea. Alright. Uh, Tony and T, you're both going out getting supplies. Yee. Yep. You. And, oh, annoying one. Whatever do you mean. Anyways. <laughs> I'm going to go below deck, use my key, and see what I can find out about this Hydra symbol stuff. That's a diamond of tentacles. Mm. Totally different. Totally original. Tomato potato. Even though you called it Hydra last time, but okay. I, I did call it some Hydra. <laughs> except for there's not a skull. Uh, Regardless. Right. So you're invest are you going down and investigating it? Or No, I'm going below the ship using the uh, key that I have. The um God, it's been a while. The uh, archivist key. Okay. Uh, I'm just seeing what I can find there, right. if anything. So, because this is gonna take the treat whenever you have what you need, or right, whenever you're ready, just let me know. Even if you gotta type it, it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go with the easiest one first, because. Simplicity. Uh, Darius, give me a perception check. Twelve. Twelve? Uh, you see a fish. Uh, no, sea looks pretty calm right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we'll go to the next easiest. Rame. Uh, give me a D10 roll. Do you know, I respect that, Tariq. I respect that so much. Because that's all I ever want to do. Same. Great. People on the ship, it's rated. What was that? Great, there's two people on the ship. He's going to raid it now, so we have to do something. I would never do that. I know, one of you is collecting corpses. From below. That sounds like a bad idea. Uh, Some parts of the Caribbean shit is done. Dead just crawls on board. Hello. Apparently I have a visitor. Hello, baby girl. She just wants to be a brat. Uh, Turn off the power. Turn off the power. <laughs> Shut up. She can't even get near <laughs> the power strip right now. Damn. Silence yourself, child. Uh, D and D Beyond, of course, is being slept. So D and D Beyond is slept. Uh, I'll hop back to you. Uh, Mama, you're heading back to the autonome. Uh, yes, the the shipmaker. Well, the the dock office. Yeah. Uh, you arrive in the autonomes. Still behind that, because spoiler alert, he doesn't need to sleep. So guess what he doesn't do? He doesn't leave. Sleep. Well, he doesn't leave, but who else is going to sleep? Uh, see him kind of working on some paperwork. How can I help you? I'm looking to hire a crew for a ship. Long term or short term. I didn't ask them. Uh, how much would it be for a long-term crew? Long-term crew, about 500 gold for five months. That will be a 10-person crew. 
Yeah, no, that's never going to happen. I immediately leave. Bye-bye. I go back to the ship. All right. Uh, Tony and T. Yes. Uh, guys are kind of wandering the courtyard. Uh, you see a lot of the vendors have, they do, they don't do things in small portions. They supply ships. There are crates ready to go, carts ready to go here. As you arrive. I mean, makes sense. Are, are they like carts that are like impossible for us to move? Like we need a like a horse or could we still move these on our own? Uh, there are some hand carts, but there are some very large carts. Okay. I don't imagine we're using this ship often. No, and we're only going to Omniwood for this time. It's like maybe a day or two. We don't need that much. So we need enough for... Oh, yeah, but how much is the crew? Seven of us and maybe... I don't know how many more. Uh, you know, previously, uh, the ship was crewed by about 12 people, including the ones, those of you that were help. Oh, wait, no, you took a different ship. That was a different ship. This is a gargantuan yeah. vehicle. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're going to need a massive crew. We need 30 crew members. This is out of character. Would, would either T or I, myself know that? Uh, this is bigger even than the ship you guys came over on. And that was about a 15-person crew. So, so... So we just know a lot. Or at least I would just know a lot. Yeah. Big yeah, this number. Is, this is basically a shipping freighter. <laughs> so, about, like, 25 to 30 people? I guess, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Spitball on a number. Yeah, I mean, if if the ship had like fifteen, and that was like kind of that big, and the other one's like this big, and Tony starts making like weird gestures with his hands, you know, like yeah, like that twenty five thirty. Yeah, I got your car. Now, how much would that cost, like, Kia? Yeah. Well, let's go to the nearest person. Yes. Are you asking one of the marketplace people? Or are you looking for a um? Privateer. What would the difference be? Yeah. Uh, a privateer would probably have, like, actual numbers and be able to find people. A uh, marketplace person is probably going to just point you in the direction of one of the hiring uh, bodies in the area. Probably a privateer, then? Yeah, I mean... We're just trying to get food, right? Oh, I didn't know if you were going for the crew. No, because we, we watched Sarah go off and get the crew, so then, Tony is under the impression that they're taking care of the crew, we're just getting food for everybody. Then you want to go to the market, to somebody in the market, and just ask them. So let's just go to the market then. I was going to say, privateer, I mean a pirate. Makes sense. Uh, but, kind of, what are... Is there any kind of food specifically you're looking for? Probably a couple meats, a few veggies. At least one thing. Oh, well, we have limes. Never mind. I was going to say one thing that doesn't go bad, but. I mean, we've all eaten together, so we kind of ish know what everybody will eat. So we're just finding stuff that people all around will eat. Uh,. Just going for like three days. How much were you looking for? Yeah, the three days for however many people we think will be on the ship. So one sec. 
Oh, my handy dandy calculator. Do -do. Let's go with the assumption of 27 people uh, for three days. If that's how long it's going to take, then yes. It's only two days to Omni Wood. So 68 what? gold yeah. for 34 uh, wages or rations worth. Essentially, 34 people rations for two days each, essentially. Did okay. we get three days just in case something happens? I think it's, that we be safe. I mean, again, I don't really. We, I, we've been out to sea a little bit, but I don't know how like crazy it gets out there. How long it'll take to get to places. Plus, if the crew um, decides to stay on the ship, maybe they might want their own food. And I'm thinking weather. Yeah, like who knows? How much more for one more day? Uh, it'll it'll be one o two. Yeah, that's not bad. I can cover that. Okay. I did just find a very close sum to that very recently. I'll just lie on the floor, so this is fine. Um, yeah. I love how blunt you are about it. I I, I don't know what you're talking about. I found it on the floor. It was <laughs> when dude just gave it to me. Yeah, this dude just so gave it to me. So they load up a small hand cart that you're able to pull. The Oh, am I able to pull it though? <laughs> yeah, it's not heavily weighted. Oh, awesome, great. Right towards Fantastic. the back. Okay. Goes flying up into the air, thrown over it. Okay. Uh, do you need anything else, D? Are we good here? I was gonna look for bullets, but I don't know if that's really the best idea now that we got all this shit. No, I'm I'm fine. I guess we get it back. So you all arrive back at the ship. Uh, you see T and V come up with a decent sized hand cart with some crates and such on it. We got food. Hey guys, welcome back. Hello. We got food for us, the crew, and uh Oh yeah. the crew won't need the crew won't need food. The crew why won't the crew need food? Oh we're we're just gonna start resurrecting bodies. I I I thought we was gonna get like a whole crew and that they all needed food. Oh, they they want over they want a hundred gold a month for a crew. Ah. We we don't need them for a month. Oh, they 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 we would have them for five months. When what about for just a week? Then the rate's going to be even worse. I'm the, I've never been one to bother, and I won't say shit. So if you say it's not worth it, I will trust you. But I don't know shit about that. So I, again, not really the bothering type. So uh, do we have the, the the people? I guess the, the, what, what, who's where are the the bodies if we're doing that. Uh, cars pulled seven out of the. Out of the water so far. Good lord. Huh. Wait, where's everybody else? What's everyone else doing? Um, Where is everybody else? I, I know there's a cat lounging in the sun. I know what you're talking about. Uh, you don't know where the fairy is. Uh, and you, more importantly, have no idea where K is. Speaking of K, 
Mm -hmm. Give me an investigation check, please. Understood. Oh, wait, I don't know where this cat came from. Mage hand to pick it up by the scruff of the neck. <laughs> Throws it off the ship. How heavy is the cat? Just fat cat. Not five Shrink, pounds. are you a fat cat? I am 158 pounds. Uh, cat's definitely weigh more than 10 pounds, so probably can't be picked up with that. If, if it helps, Sam, my cat weighs 14, if that's a scale for you. Oh, then I'd be the same weight as your cat. Your cat's freaking light as shit. Yeah, no, my cat's like, he's a big boy, but he's not that heavy, so. Okay, so the mage hand fails trying to pick up the cat, but it would feel like a pinch on the back of your neck. Yawn, and then turn over. You know, I, I think having a cat's good on a pirate ship. It's like a vibe, you know? It's a rat. Yeah. More Thank you, God. Uh, Kay, what was your investigation roll? Only a 27. Anyways, I need you to just look on stream real quick. Okay. Just real quick. He's probably flipping you off. That's probably yeah, what's he happening. Is. <laughs> he is. I would never Definitely. do that. Uh, so, uh, you find... 18 plus 9. It's not my fault. Huh? Oh, guys, don't question this, but I need a thousand gold in a pack mule. I'm gonna question that. I'm not just handing out a thousand gold. I just wasted like sixty gold because I thought we needed to feed our crew. Uh, we might still we might still end up hiring a crew. I'm gonna put a sign out that says hiring hiring crew one silver per day. Um. <laughs> so you like to get laughed out of town? W one sec, guys. One sec. Let me do the thing yep, for K yep, quick. Yep. Please, Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, in your investigation, you find, uh, ties of this symbol specifically to a former, uh, powerful sea god. Uh, essentially, uh, they were more known to cause storms than to prevent them. Uh, essentially, you prayed to this god hoping that he would not sink you. He was very wrathful. Uh, let me do, 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 go to uh, my notes real quick. The Poseidon on crack. Yeah, it's Meaner Poseidon. <laughs> Let's be talking around. Meaner Poseidon. As if any of us thought that was possible. Do, do, do. Depends on what lore. You're not fucking wrong. Uh, his name was Dilo. D H I L O. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you whoa. doing? Uh, my screen was freaking the fuck out for a second there. Was messing with my head, seeing it. Uh, so yeah, you find that information. Anything on how old it is, hypothetically speaking? Or how long it's been worshipped? In, in other planes, it has been around for about uh, five to six thousand years. Actively mm -hmm. worshipped. I'm catching up to it. I was gonna say you 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 are not even like a thousand years old. I'm getting there. Just give me time. Six K is a lot. A lot older. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, that's what you find out. Okay. Anything on if it's increased or decreased over the years of worship, or is it just kind of like stagnant right now? Uh, so a lot of this information in the library is mainly older stuff. Anything more mm -hmm. recent, you'd want to look into local history. Makes like sense. In the local area. Library doesn't get constantly updated. I mean, the mm -hmm. librarian doesn't get out much because they have assholes who spend 
12 to 24 hours in there. Hmm. Doesn't sound like my problem. <laughs> You'd have the shit I wanted in the first place. I wouldn't spend so much time in there. The wild shit of this is that no one, you could be talking about like two people now. I know, right? Uh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So, what are you guys doing next? I'm staying below deck and making notes on that. Notes? Yep. Notes? <laughs> Your D10 finally rolled. <laughs> That's funny. You get any good? Any better than what I rolled? Can we rephrase that? <laughs> nope, you rolled a six. six. Cool. Rob, why are you rolling every single thing? <laughs> yes. You should Five check me. <laughs> I want you to know this because I'm just watching the game log go up and up and up and I'm like, fucker. <laughs> just vibe checking everything, just seeing how it's going. Uh, yep. Okay, cool. We can vibe check. <laughs> uh, All right, I'll roll a wild magic surge. There he is, gets shot out of the air. <laughs> vibe check. <laughs> All right, everyone give me a perception check. Captain Sword disapproves. Like, seriously? Yeah. Can I, can I smell for this? No. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Yeah. Oh, well, son of a bitch. Okay. Um, smell dead bodies. Mm -hmm. 23. 17. Oh, wait. I got 23. Right. I just got a 22. Sad. <laughs> Especially with a lot of time on the coast, uh, which is pretty much everyone got high enough to pass it. You can smell thunder on the horizon. Oh, there's a storm coming. There's a storm of ruin. We ain't going anywhere anytime soon. I mean. I feel like the shit with Nyaz that Treek mentioned is a little, like seems a little urgent. I don't think we should like wait. And I trust my nose, but I don't trust it that much. We might as well just try to make it through the day. Couldn't we just travel by land? That is also we could just travel by land. I just thought we put a lot of effort into doing the ship, so I thought we were kind of locked into that right now. But we could just do it by land. Well, we still have the we still have the cart here. We could just no, it... load supplies onto the cart and. That's fair. We, we, we just want like, some limes. I just don't want all the food to go to waste, you know. I mean, this is a pirate town. It's probably made to last for at least a week. Fair enough. I mean, if everyone wants to go by land, I'm down. I have no preference in how we travel, so. If we go on sea, I want an actual capable crew. Oh, in the supplies that you got, is there dried meats? It should be. There it is. Oh, Both because... Dried and salted. Because I can use my cauldron to make stew. There we go. I have the... Um, I have the blue alchemical jug, which would allow me to make enough water to fill my cauldron. And then I can use the cauldron itself to generate 10 gold pieces worth of carrots, potatoes, and mushrooms. Then we throw some dried meats in there, and we let it stew for a while. I assure you that the magic won't seep into the food and cause it to crawl around. At least I'm pretty sure that won't happen. You know, I was, like, kind of down for this before you said that, but after going <laughs> to the Adams, I'm, like, concerned now. Don't worry about it. Don't... It's fine. Then Almighty God must be a smart ass. <laughs> I mean, we also could leave it on the ship. 
and lease it, and they have food. That's true. That is also true. So should I go back to the... Should I go back to the the dock office and then tell them that we're trying to lease out the ship again? And then we'll we'll prepare our stuff in the wagon and get going? I, I mean, yeah, I'm bound to get going. and I just I still don't know where like half of the body is. So we'll we'll wait here until everybody regroups. Oh, fair enough. okay. Well, there's a cat awfully chummy on your shoulder, so. Uh, I'm gonna use message on the cat. Hello. Hi. Oh, it's you. Yeah. Oh, to everybody else, you just you hear nothing coming out of my mouth. It just looks like I'm purring at this cat. I think I tried to scratch the cat. I don't know if cat, I was is a it? fan of the claymation uh, uh, holiday movies. But the person that voiced uh, Frosty the Snowman in both Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph passed away. No, don't do oh. that. I, I, I love, I love the claymation holiday. Hi. Best part of the holiday. Yeah, but... And the Grinch. Uh, no, I mean, sad. it can't top yesterday's death. I'm still sad. No, what? Who died? What? Don't say that. Leslie Jordan. Look him up, cute little gay man. Love him dearly. God, he's so funny. And I know, I know who that is. I, I, I yeah. was very sad. I love him. He had a medical related um, issue that caused him to have, crash his car. Huh? Considering he was on Mass Singer not that long ago. But continuing on. Yes. Uh, so you go lease out the ship again. Uh, they're actually going to uh, give you a little extra gold for providing food to it. One sec. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I have a sneeze right at the top of my nose. Zoom tight. Just don't. God, it hurts. Uh, mm -hmm. How long are you looking to lease it? Sorry. I'm trying to focus, but it's not going away. So <laughs> annoying as shit. Um, should we plan on returning here in about a month? Or do you think we're going to have a faster pace than that? Do a month what? just to be on the safe side? Yeah, I mean, the worst case scenario, we can always just bum around somewhere for a month. I don't think we're going to have any, any urgency to get to the other continent, so... I mean, yes and no. Fair enough. I can just walk on water, so that's fine. I can also fly. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> All right. So, uh, for one month, they offer you a uh, thousand gold as payment, with an extra hundred for the food. Um, I immediately take the hundred and then pass that over to T and V. Because they bought that food for the ship. Oh, we'll be in reimbursed. Okay. How much did you spend on the supplies? I think it was a oh, 100. Yeah. It's fine. This works. It's a good number now. I'm like, a thing. I coin first. <laughs> So, you guys um, do that. Uh, I assume you guys go get your cart. Yes. Right. Uh, one moment. Oh, wait, before we leave. Did we leave that chest full of gold on the ship? Or did we spend all of that? Wasn't most of it spent to get the ship? No, there was still like, there was still a couple thousand gold left in there, if I remember correctly. Nobody's watching stream, right? 
No. Good. No. Weirdly enough, you're talking to the wrong guy. I, 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 for some reason, didn't keep track of that goal for some reason. I remember it being somebody's job to keep track of the money, and it wasn't me. <laughs> Where's K? I would have saw K go down to the bottom of the deck because I was on the deck, right? Yes. Unless you were sleeping. Oh, you're right. K would know. Kitty Cat leaps off of the shoulders and Meow is pointing down to the deck bottom of the deck. K, did you leave the door open? No, it would have been closed. I would have been out of the library and just in one of the rooms, in one of the quarters. Okay. I will go downstairs and start yelling for Kay. <laughs> Tricky fashion. Doesn't notice. Oh, I also yell through the door. I need to stop in the market for something before we leave. Alright, All right, let me just find Kay. I tried to find the bastard. That's gonna help because cat's already off of the shoulders. Give me a perception check, both of you. Um, Eleven. Twenty-two. You find K. Now. Currently staring over notes with a coin floating above his hand. Hey, sleepyhead. Uh, we're gonna go by land because there's a storm coming. Briefly side eyes, it's notes. All right, probably safer. Yeah, considering Car still wants to do his undead theory. <laughs> Sounds very in character for it. Yeah, so, um, D did you? Do you remember where the gold was kept, or how much we even had? I don't recall that being my responsibility, so yeah. I'm not entirely sure. No one knows at this point. But, um, if you wanna head up, I wanna take a look around the ship, see if I can find the chest, and we're gonna hit the market and head out. Sounds like a plan. And I will do a perception check for the our chest of gold. Okay. I genuinely don't know where we put that thing. Ooh, yay! Um, eighteen plus six numbers. Yeah, you can find it. So it's on the ship. Yes, it is in the captain's quarters. Okay. And that's above deck yes so i just yell out from the captain's quarters it's in here oh how to end up in my room that's weird let me just go oh wait i was i was in goliath form and i was carrying it around sounds about right uh reem with that nine Nine. He's very suspicious of uh, what you're doing. Uh, he seems to think you have ill intent. He asked, what does he get in exchange for signing something so heavily away when he's already contracted by uh, the uh, ship guild? Uh, car. He 
he's not allowed to be unsupervised anymore. <laughs> well, he makes like half the party at this point. I'll keep an eye on him. I'll make sure he behaves, I promise. I'll give you a minute, Flynn. Uh, just for my peace of mind, I have no claim unless you betray me or something. Just doing my best. I mean, he's, he's already contracted not to via the guild. So if you want a separate contract, he, he wants more out of it. Because he's already contracted where if he does do this, he's essentially blacklisted and wanted. Except it's protected. But your discretion. Uh, anybody else doing anything before you get off the ship? No. Uh, I would say that Tony is probably shouting out various. Hey, hey Var yeah, you there, bud? You here? Did you say various? Various. 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 I don't know. Various. various. Yes, various. Of course, that's what exactly. Yeah. Various. <laughs> no, I don't think I've actually seen him yet. Uh, there it's is. Uh, of existence again. You know what? Various will misty step down there. <laughs> Does not surge. Here's fireball. Anyway, here's fireball. Wonderwall okay. jokes now. Ow. Uh, yeah, you guys start all together below and start to head to get your cart. All right. So, you guys get your cart, and are you guys heading right out? Sarah wanted to go to the market real quick. That's right. And we're putting the chest of gold on the cart, correct? Or on my no, I don't have the flying carpet anymore. Yeah, it has to go on the cart. Yeah. Just so it's said out loud. Only the captains? What are you talking about? Why would anyone else know how to read? And I never said Sam could read. Sam can't read? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, well, no, she definitely can read because she definitely writes smut. Let's be real. God damn it. She 100% writes smut. I'll have uh, to throw something at you. I'm in danger. I mean, you have a book guy, Reem. You have a book guy, Car. Anyway. Anyway, so uh, what were you looking to get, Sarah? Um, I'm looking for precious stones. Uh, what kind? Uh, very specifically in a gate worth 1,000 gold pieces. Do... Do, do... So you're not able to find anything of that level here. Uh, just because... You're kind of in a less magical area. I mean, pirates tend not to be magically inclined. They usually bring one magical person because, you know, you never know when you got to heal somebody. But... I figured that I could find somebody who's back alley dealing that may have come across what I'm looking for. Roll for a black market. <laughs> Why would I have a roll for a black market when I have a wonderful uh, 
very large, uh, very much a dragonborn standing there with a cart. Mm. Stavo? No, why would I do that? When I have, uh, sorry. Uh, oh yeah, it's Bruno. Bruno's on top. God damn it. <laughs> Hi, Bruno. We don't talk about oh. Bruno. You immediately hear from below, hey, it's not them again, is it? The fairy's not with us. You see, the goblin head pops out from the bottom. Okay. He closes it back up. How can I help you guys today? Well, gentlemen, I happen to be in the market for in a gate about this big, and I just gesture to the size of the stone that I need. Uh, you see, he leans really hard against the cart, and you see very clearly from the bottom, Jorge runs out below him. He's just, like, dangling there. And you see Jorge runs into the uh, cart, and you hear rummaging, and you kind of see suddenly the bucket head poke out. I don't have one of that size. I have one I can break. Is really big. How many of this size can you make out of that one big one? If I don't break it wrong, three. <laughs> How much would you like for the whole thing and then I'll have you break it? You see Jorge puts on the helmet and joins the other three and you kind of hear Do you want to see it before we show you? Yes, I would like to examine it before before uh, I pay for it. You see Jorge hops back out underneath and you see he drops down the back door and rolls out probably a good, like, two foot wide, uh, a gate. Peace. It's, if it is a two foot wide a gate, that is actually, I'm not saying this aloud, I'm, this is out of character, that's actually ten times what I need. <laughs> uh, give How... me a nature check. A nature check. Okay. I'm not great at these, but I got a 22. 22? Uh, there are definitely parts of it that are not fully a gate. Uh, you see some quartz in there as well. So it's not a pure hunk of a gate. Okay, so the the purity is off. Yes. Actually, having that much quartz would be worth it to me as well. How much for the whole stone? And then I'll have you break the three pieces of a gate off. That you said that you can break off. You see. Uh, see the goblin hops out from underneath. Uh, I believe. We bought it. For 4,000. Call it 7. No, nope, it's it's again something that's not going to work for me. I'm just Nope. I'm just going to walk away. 
All right, Hernando, put it back. And you see, you slowly see him shove, shoveling it with his head. Just his head, not his hands. You see just the bucket shoving it. Because, you know, bucket head. <laughs> you left him there. You wish, Car. You wish. All right, so you guys continue on. You get your cart, and uh, Treek, I'm assuming you're back to driving. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, which, um, how much did you pay for your cart in Ox to be held and for how long? I can't remember. Uh. That was like two, three months ago. I know, right? Definitely longer, actually. So, yeah, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> I, I think it's paid off, honestly. I, I think I paid for it to be here for an extended long time. So, yeah. Because we were like, we have no fucking clue how long we're going to be. Right. Uh, you guys head off to uh, get. Towards Omniwood, because my brain is not functional today. Um, oh. While we're traveling for the first day, um, I'm going to make stew in my cauldron. Right. Uh, you guys start heading out. About an hour in, the air very much changes. You can smell it. As the storm starts to roll in. How long do we have to set up? To set up camp? Uh, you probably... Uh, anyone can give me a nature check. To figure out how long you have before the storm will hit you. That's um, a five. I'm than, not paying attention. Rather than nope. doing the nature, nature check... I'm going to immediately get off the cart, find an open area, and cast uh, Tiny Hut. 21? Yeah, 21 total for me as well, because I forgot I have good nature. <laughs> Alright. So, anyone with uh, 16 or higher, you have about two hours before the storm hits you, where you currently are. We got about two hours until the storm's going to hit us, so... Uh... Take that as you will. Decide when we need to prepare. We got two hours. I'm already off in the distance casting Tiny Hut. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> have two hours to sit up and make sure the horses or the oxes are fine. That's fair. What are, are they going to be good in the rain? Animal people, are they good in the rain? I think they should be fine unless it, just, unless it becomes like a hurricane or something. Okay. We'll just keep them close to Tiny Hut then. Uh, I'm going to come back out of the tiny hut and then have my cauldron float its way into the tiny hut. Because <laughs> right. the cauldron's currently full of stew. I then proceed to get the oxen ready and make sure the cart doesn't fucking get destroyed. Yeah. Okay. But who wants to share a tiny hut with the one that... I mean... Head's not really gonna last if this gets really bad, so... Uh, yeah, as you guys all hunker down into the hut, there is a weird odor. Tony hates it here. <laughs> I'm nose blind too, so uh, there are yield nose plugs. Uh, you don't have them. I wouldn't have them. But... Clothing? Oh yeah, I, I don't. I, I don't think I have any like clothing. I dreadcraft um lavenders like um around. Tony's neck in a way, so that way the lavender overpowers, like, not overpowers, but 
makes us that way that the smell doesn't have excruciating damn. Right. And a dog Thank dies. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Tree. Gives you a tired thumbs up. All right. So as you guys rest, the storm hits. And it is torrential downpour. Oh, are the the oxen's in? Are, is there Oxen. room for the wagon and the ox? No, they're outside. I secured them to like a sturdy looking tree, and I'm keeping an ear out in case um the oxen start to sound panics. Okay. Uh, as the storm gets worse, and you see the lightning coming oh, down. Um. Creek, you won't be able to hear the oxen get panicked. Yeah, we're, we're gonna keep an eye on them. Yeah, yeah. That. The 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 tiny hut soundproof. Uh so you see the storm coming through, and the lightning goes from a nor a nice bright yellow to a sickly teal. As it strikes around. Boy. Did someone touch something? I did. I was watching them like a hawk. They didn't touch shit down there. Uh, you watch as one of the arcs strikes the ground. And you watch as instead of just dissipating, it bounces around the hut. I don't fucking like that. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I assume this is after like everyone's sleeping and the only two elves are like awake right now. Uh no. This is Oh shit. Only... This is before night time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like oh, immediately fuck. after we hunkered down. A little oh. bit after. Right after the That's... storm full hit. That's unpleasant. Uh so um, you go ahead. Uh I I was going to say something. I changed my mind because it's not actually going to work through the tiny hut. You watch as suddenly the lightning arcs up and a massive hand slams into the tiny hut. You see just it, billowing smoke uh, as the it, lightning looks towards it. It doesn't even budge. <laughs> I don't like that. Ooh, they like piss uh, off a storm guy. Did we piss off any strong creatures? I don't fucking know. But I have a feeling my sword has died. something to do with that fucking symbol. None of us touched it. I don't think. Uh, I know I didn't. Just, just so you're aware, I can't leave the tiny hut and I can't cast spells through it. So... Nobody's leaving the hut. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you're trying to fight this thing... No! <laughs> uh, you watch as it continues to slam into it. Almost... Do you know what? Everyone give me an insight check. Yeah, boy. Someone fucking took something or touched something? Who did it? Well, Fess up. Important. For once, it probably wasn't me. Uh, 15. I can't roll the book. Ooh! 22. 21. Got a seven. Anyone with a sixteen or higher? Past me. <laughs> I was uh, muted. Nice, Rob. Yes, you yeah. were. Yeah, because your dogs were. Uh, I I rolled my insight, then chose to re-roll it because I got a one and I got a net twenty. Woo! Nice. Uh, okay. Jesus. Okay. So, those of you with sixteen or higher. Yeah. It's not outwardly hostile. Rob or Therius, with that natural twenty, yes. you've had a little bit of time with elementals previously in the Feywild. This is yes. very obviously a storm elemental. Uh, 
Meaning something probably conjured this. Curse. Who did it? I will share that knowledge. Well, there's only so far one group of people that I know that can do elemental shit. And we're wanted in that city. So... Am I able to pick up anything at all since I'm able to speak, read, and write primordial? Uh, you cannot hear it. Okay. You're I'm just gonna, wondering uh, if there's like any under... Right, right, right. Is it going towards mm. the oxen at all? No. Like it has no interest in the oxen. Do I do a stupid? If this is like a like an elemental... Oh, be like where, would, where would the hand pee like positioned? Like, like is it trying to get to a specific person? It's so large it's hard to tell. It doesn't seem threatening at all, or not outwardly threatening. Like it seems a little hostile. Um, what was your insight? Trait? Fifteen. Could it roll about the time? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it continues to swirl around you as the storm continues. Uh, and every now and then it'll shift over the whole hut. I was is using there, my sword drone. Is there any nearby cover outside of the hut? Like, uh, what's the closest the trees local cover? That, uh, you have the oxen tied to. About how far away would you say? Uh, about uh, 20 feet. Actually, that's a good fucking point. Are the oxen fucking terrified? They're probably shitting themselves. A little bit. They don't even know the storm's happening. I mean, they know the storm's happening. They're not <laughs> happy about that. They don't seem any more terrified of the elemental because it's not made its presence felt towards them. Okay. As far as they know, they're safe. What about the opposite direction from... So, like, Oxen Dome, like, how far away is the nearest quote-unquote cover, the opposite side? Uh, the opposite side uh, would be the straight-up ocean. <laughs> I'm gonna do something so bad. And, and what about at the uh, perpendicular angles? Uh, road towards uh, sea glass. Road towards Omniwood. Shit. Okay. Hmm. Is it ever? Is it only form a hand right now, or does it ever form into like a creature's form? Uh, it never takes its full form. You see its face every now and then. But it never like fully shifts into a humanoid form. Fuck. Does anyone here speak lightning? I want to try something, but I might get electrocuted. So I don't think killing it is necessary, Car. I don't think I don't think we need to kill it. It's not going for the oxen, so I don't think it's totally violent. I'm not going to agree with Khan and say we need to kill it, but, like, I don't want to fall asleep with that guy just there, so, like, what are we going to do about him? I mean, I could... I have a spell that lets me speak any language. I could go out there and see if it's trying to contact anyone. Uh, question. Have any of you seen, uh, God, I Am Legend? No. Not in a long time. Not in a fucking long yeah, ass time. Way too long. Yeah. Uh, so, y- y'all might remember this scene where the zombie's just slamming against the window as Will Smith's in there. Mm-hmm. Just shouting. Yeah. That's what you're getting. <laughs> as this thing just slams and sh- a pr- a m- is trying to scream at you. It is trying to say, it's we see a mouth and it's trying to m- say something. <laughs> Shouting at least. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> you know what? Hold on. I'm casting I'm... tongues. And since I'm observant, if it's making words with its mouth, I should I can understand them. Yep. Yep. Because oh. I have the observant feet. Um I don't have to roll for it, it just I know what it's saying. If you can okay. decipher a mouth that is <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. 
It was a storm, so uh, fuck if I know. <laughs> uh, we can see its mouth, so I panicked and I did it. I'm... <laughs> you, you pretty much get in primordial, because you have tongue. Yep. Get out. It's, it's just screaming, get out. That's all it's saying. Get out of the hut? Probably. There's nothing else really to get out of. Is it going to attack us? I don't know. Here, I'll go out first. It doesn't feel step. threatening. Treek will walk out of the door. There is so, just going to missy step over to the, uh, the cart. Uh, the ox. Okay. And as I walk out of the dome, in like a very armored stance, I say into the tongues, what do you want? It kind of points at you and goes, not you. Well, be more specific. Who? Uh, you see uh, it outstretches its arm and you see uh, the clouds around it circulate into uh very clearly, a water elemental. Mm. Absorbs it back in. I'm going to walk into the dome. I'm going to grab Kay's arm and say, it, I'm pretty sure it wants you because it showed a water elemental. Oh boy. Interesting. Would I have any recollection of anyone else working with specifically like storm elementals or anything like that? Uh, give me a history From the... check. History. Oof, good thing I have fucking high history. That's an 18. Uh, you remember uh, a couple individuals uh, that were working out with different elementals? Storm elementals? Uh, are pretty rare and controlling them is almost impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, without great amount of power. I'll put it that way. So whoever made this either is very powerful or very stupid. Could be both. With that knowledge, does it seem aggressively hostile towards, obviously specifically me, but like, does it seem threatening at all outside of its presence? Uh, more so. What was your insight? <laughs> Uh, it was 24. Almost desperate. Okay. I say if you step out of the dome and it attacks you, you disengage, step back into the dome, and then we figure it out from there. Well, I was more just thinking because I have a potion of lightning resistance, so. There you go. Because I have a lot of ram shit in my inventory still. <laughs> <laughs> Now's the best time to use that shit, I say. Mm. If you're worried. Uh, you watch as it I mean, starts to go more take, frantic, yeah. bouncing around the dome. I'm gonna get up and step out. Uh, as soon as you do, it slams in front of you uh, and takes a much smaller, more condensed form. Uh, and it just looks at you and goes, Master! Oh, so either powerful or stupid. <laughs> <laughs> or both, like I said. Or, or both. Can I ascertain as to which one this might be? Uh, if my assumption is correct? Yes. Uh, I assume the more allied one. Yes. Uh, this is very much the one that had your blood in it. Mm. Uh, go ahead and give me an Arcana check. Arcana. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, someone has very much twisted the magic you use 
to make this water elemental into this. You evolved quite a bit, it seems. Not by choice. What happened after everything? I was captured, put to work. And as for the other, Boreas? Still in containment. And how did you escape? They if you wanted didn't. to use me to power something. <clears throat> It sounds very likely. Um, inside of the dome, I lean over to Tree and I go, "If, if he's friendly, I can give him permission to come inside of the dome. But if he's made of magic, he can't come inside of the dome, regardless." Brian, so <laughs> I don't. Am I seeing this whole conversation happen? Yes. Because of okay, so I I know what's going on because of tongues and I have um observant. I would assume only half though, because well, back would probably be two. That's fair. Okay, would make sense. So I only hear. I, just, I see that they're not immediately fighting each other. <laughs> so well, you guys remember that water elemental that helped us in the um the factory? I mean the the fucking university. That's the word. How can we forget? Say hello to him. Wait, what? No. So no. What he said, so what the creatures said so far, they twisted with, they used magic to twist his form to power something, but he escaped. That's, like, oh. we need to fix that problem soon. I was yeah, no. Uh, America, but that's pretty shitty. Uh. No, yeah. Um. So it sounds like so far, this dude's pretty friendly, but I wouldn't, I didn't, he didn't like seeing me, so I don't know what's going on. Might not that he doesn't like seeing you. He just really needs to talk to Kay. That probably was it too. Okay, end of the aside. <laughs> we need to stop him. I'm fully aware of that. Is this form controllable by you, or is this more? Untamed. Yes. He has my center. He kind of reaches inside, and you see as he dissipates uh, the clouds, he's very clearly missing a crystal at the center of him. When the storm goes, I will go. It's all that's keeping me here. I'm sorry I caused this upon you. It is not I... your fault. I made my choice. You forced nothing. Regardless, I shouldn't have left you there for as long as I did. You thought you were doing what was best. Uh, Therius, what are you doing in the uh, cart? Kind of watching. Okay. <laughs> Just vibing. Putting the ox strength on the down. Best <laughs> with the giant elemental. Everyone and I, but I can't really do anything for the ox. So, uh, everyone, give me a perception check. 
Perception checks. 16. 20. 22. 22. All right. Jinx. Anyone with an 18 or higher, you see the storm is starting to move very quickly towards do do do. God, why is my brain going for her? <laughs> yes. Uh... Need to go to my world map. Going towards Freyfar. Oh shit, were there more elementals in that storm cloud? I don't know. If I look up in the storm cloud, do I see elementals, Brian? <laughs> Can I do an Arcana check? Uh, feel free. Eighteen? Uh, there are no other elementals in the storm clouds. Okay, so it's just a rolling storm that was heading in that direction. Poof. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, your elemental... Okay, looks up, sees the storm moving faster. He calls. Save us. And you watch as he turns back into lightning, and almost reverse striking into the sky. And he leaves, and it starts to turn into a sprinkle. Well. Side. As soon as the elemental leaves, she will walk out and like gently approach K. So, should we head there instead? Unfortunately, I believe so. Before this gets further out of hand. Understood. And I'll go back in the dome and tell everybody we should probably head towards Freyfar, question mark. Yeah. Freyfar, yeah. I mean, I don't know what more we can do. We would need to basically usurp him and put someone more reliable on. And I don't know if anybody more reliable, unless <gasps> Kay wants to take the position or Kay knows someone. I don't think we have a choice at this point. Well, He's I using know. storm elementals to power something, and that storm elemental, it sounded... Well, uh, we're words it used for now. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, is that, like, I know this kind of your town uh, trait, but, like, uh, we're oh, going to ignore Nia's... Nia's, you said she was kind of urgent with it, like... She was being... A, she didn't tell me exactly... One second, I'm going to cast Sending <laughs> towards Nia and be like... As the situation evolves, if I take a tutor, will everything be okay? You receive no answer. Do I see the message go through, though? It does not. Mmm, Treek's face just turns pale. Oh my god, she fucking did. I look at the list. Her name is still on there. Mm. <laughs> what time is it? Out of curiosity. It is getting later into the afternoon as the clouds kind of finally start to dissipate and it's only a light spring. Um, would I be able to see the expression on Treak's face of him feeling uncomfortable about the spell not going through? Do you mean an insight? Oh, yes. Yeah. No, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to say no, no, he automatically knows. It's fine. No, nah, yeah, I was about to say, I fucking Treek's just pale. As, yeah. <laughs> um, Treek, are you okay? So, Denias is dead or is blocked behind magic. You're inside of the tiny hut. I was outside of the tiny hut. I went outside to K. I did. Oh, okay, but she could be inside of a tiny hut. That's I was it's, I was saying she's either guarded by magic right now or dead because I can't contact her. And Naya's hates magic. 
which is an issue. If she was dead, she wouldn't be on the list anymore. So she's either... Something is holding her, and it's not like her to willingly go into something magical. How about, how about this? How about we stop in Omniwood, because it's kind of on the way from where we are right now. And then we can check in, make sure everyone's okay, and then we can book it to Freyfa if we have time. Okay, do you even have anything that you would be able to usurp Bephos and put someone else worthy in charge? Because we can't just leave that position open. Are you stepping outside the dome? Yes. <laughs> well, I assume she's outside because whoever is, people can't hear me if they're still in the dome. <laughs> yeah, I figure you just went back in to inform everyone of what happened. Oh no, this means that I stepped outside of the dome to talk to Trake, which means the dome disappeared. Yeah, mm. so we're all out in the open. It's only sprinkling. You're fine. <laughs> so, guys. Uh, actually, I need everyone to give me an additional perception check. Jesus. There we go, 29. Jesus. First time, we're the, first time the dice is as bone above a 10 today. 24. 18. I got three 18s in a row on different rolls. 21. Arcana, insight, and then perception. <laughs> I just played a room. Uh, this is sight, by the way. Yeah. Uh, anyone is higher than a 21. 24. House. Uh, you see the storm is, is literally centering on Freyfar. Mm, no, that's a big and more important issue. I'm, I'm, he's just going to point at the clouds. Mm, we should probably just head uh, to Freyfar. <laughs> okay, but, but route-wise, we're already on a road to Omniwood. Is it going to be good for the car and all that shit and everything if we just book it off the road? To get the Freyfar. I'm just saying, I think right now the fastest route is go through Omniwood and go straight to Freyfar. If I'm wrong, I don't know. I'm not a geography guy, but. I, I pull out my own personal map. Is there a road that we can take to Freyfar? Uh, you'd have to backtrack a little bit, but you could. It'd take you about an extra 30 minutes. That's not too bad. Oh, 30 well, minutes isn't even a problem. Let's go. Yeah. What do you think about all this, Kay? Too early to tell. But Henry had something up his sleeve. And someone very intelligent working on this. Brings me back to my original question. Do you know how to take him away from power and who we can put into power I think Carson's intent to be in power I mean Car and K are the only ones literally in the the university so not entirely sure yet but there might be something of interest to investigate once we get there all right if it well, sticks in the east. You're gonna lead us. Let's go. You guys untie the ox. Get on your way. And start to head down towards Freyfar. Uh, are you oh, stopping? My, my cauldron is still full of stew. <laughs> if anybody wants some. I'm... I'll go with no. Yeah, I don't think I'm good right now, but uh. Alright. Uh, are you guys stopping at all? Where would we stop? I'm, I'm ready to push it. At the rest stop. Like, I, I don't know how far it is, but if this is this urgent, it's I'm ready to just go. Wave. It's about like, a two day journey. 
I'm I'm assuming we'll stop once the oxen get tired. Uh, Treak, you send a message to one of the kobolds you knew. Uh, what do you say with your sending? I ask, is everyone all right? Is anything happening in the city? Are you okay? What is going on? Uh, it's Treak. Right. So, uh, how many words? 25? Yep. Uh, Treak, sweetie! Oh my god, are you okay? God, it's been so long. I miss you. Treak swears on his breath. You grew so much last time I saw you. Uh, That's it. Treak swears under his breath. <laughs> Everything's been a bit. Things are getting. Treak's gonna cast sending again and say, please continue your last statement. <laughs> Mainly the fact that there are a lot of new business businesses in the district, but nothing too big. Okay. As long as... Treat kind of just composes himself slightly and then drives the ox again. More with more direct, knowing that the kobolds are fine. I don't know how the city is, but the kobolds are fine. But he's still as pale as a ghost. All right. Uh, so your first evening, there's not much going on. Uh, the second one. Oh, as you're getting a little bit closer to Frey Fox. You guys are probably like, uh, an hour or two outside of Frey Fox. Uh, you all see a figure come, uh, I assume you're in the tiny hut. Come up to the tiny hut and kind of give a slight knock to it. Do I recognize the figure? Uh, give me a perception check. <laughs> and any of us, sir? Yep. 23. A uh, nat 20. The dice told me literally, oh, you want to roll above a 10? No, it's time to roll a 10. 19. Is this at nighttime out of curiosity? It is. <clears throat> I don't have dark vision, so. I well, they're at You're next blind. to the dog. You're legally blind. 18. Mood. Uh, so while it is a little hard to initially figure out who it is, on further uh, look, you recognize him as Vincent, the vampire that we befriended before. Oh. Hey. But he yeah, looks the... very emaciated and very beat up. What the uh, fuck happened to you, guy? Yeah, I'll step out and be like, yeah. you all right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Step I out. say that, and then stay, step out again and say exactly the same. Let's just say, uh, let's see, wipes a little bit of uh, black ooze from the side of his mouth. Bar dog. No, whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Everyone okay? Is Dolores okay? Yeah, she got out. Barely. The others? Most people got out. A couple of the ghouls are gone, gone. What, what happened? <sighs> we got sold out. You might Bye. not want to be here long. He looks specifically at you, V. He's in town. Oh! Oh shit. Does that mean, is that code hey. for scary man? He's still in the dome. Who's dome? I think, no, me, I think it's just you, me, and um, T that are outside the dome right now. Yeah, I can't leave. I would have stepped down and actually cast a healing word. 
I'm cautious because I forget a vampire is, can't be healed by holy magic, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not holy, that's for fucking sure. I know, that's why I haven't done it. <laughs> I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> so, the healing word for 11 points of healing. Because why not? Appreciate it. Yeah, Baron's in town. Son of a bitch. Alright, well, uh... Okay, I, I'm a little worried your guy might know my guy. Uh, we might got some more problems than we thought. Oh, he hired him specifically. Uh, yeah, that sound. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna suck. Oh, fuck. Oh, I hate this, actually. Why have they gone to Omniwood again? This just became... Well, this is a bit more harder. Pressing. Yes, no, this... Mm. V has a Dragonborn sweat happening. Uh, <laughs> cold sweat. sweat. I mean... It's just right. We could probably organize a assaults, but we don't know that many people. Ah, you say that. We know a couple people, but I don't think those people want to go after this guy. Uh, V, I need What's a perception bidding? check from you based on scent. I love those. Those are my favorite. Dun, dun, dun. Um, that's a 27. Yo. Uh, I got you. you immediately pick up the alpha scent. Okay, wait. No, I, I'm gonna ask for a clarification because Dolores was also an alpha. Is this her or is this someone else? This is very much you recognize it with that role as Baron Scent. He's not nearby. But I just guess. Okay, it's just it's, it's him. So okay, you, you know it so well from it literally being ingrained into you when you were changed mm -hmm. that the second it hits you, it puts you into borderline panic mode. What the shit are you doing? Into an obedient state. You, you can almost hear like a like a like a whimper from my mouth. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um. So Omni was still looking pretty good. It's only like a day. We could just head back there. V. I know you're scared. I'm fucking terrified that Nias is here because I doubt I'm gonna be able. I doubt. You know what? She could be here because she was working with him. This could be fucking terrifying. Like, oh, wait, so you're telling me, like, like three of the fucking worst people we know are all in the same place, and you want to go towards it still? We have no choice. I think we, we have no choice. We can always just walk If around. we let this fucking fester, not Uncle Fester, like, actual fester, this will kill many people. No, you're right. Like, they, they took the bar. That's, like, the real shit, so... Exactly. Yeah, they're right. asking. You know what we, he's asking. Anyone with we magic owe them that much to take care of this. Exactly. I'm allowed to be scared, okay? No, I'm not saying, saying you're not. And I'm not saying we're not. We're not mad at you because you're. We're not mad at you, and we're not upset with you for being scared. Trust me, I'm fucking terrified. Is the storm still over the city at all, or is that subsided? Oh no, it's very much there. Um. I can see this conversation from inside of the dome, right? Yes. Um, I'm, going <laughs> Panic. To send, I'm going to send my owl out to grab V's shoulder and pull him back into the tiny hut. Are you going to let an owl pull you, V? Ah. You're going to have to strength for a bell. Because you're going to have to eat. I, I know that, but still. I think, I think V is a little... I'm not going to say he doesn't want to run, but he's pretty enraptured in what's going on. I think he's planted. He, he needs solid ground right now, and if something pulls him, he might just fall over. Well, the owl's definitely pulling you, so if you fall <laughs> into the tiny hut... I'm like, DM, do I fall into tiny hut? I, I, don't, I don't think I would move, but I think I'm in such a panic state that I wouldn't, like... How much strength does an owl have? <laughs> I was okay. just gonna say, how much strength does an owl have? Yeah. Um, mine's a 10. 13. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull it up. An owl has more strength than me, I'll be a little sad. <laughs> it might do, to be honest, you who knows? Or dumped it. I didn't yeah. dump it, I just rolled a 5 when rolling stats. Oh, an owl has minus 4, but... Hey, I did it! <laughs> I can beat an owl in arm wrestling. Well, you can, but did <laughs> oh, you? Oh, no. <laughs> I, 
have yet oh, to no, roll. Oh no, I rolled the no, two. Yeah. Minus yeah. One. <laughs> yeah, no. The first strength victory. My the owl two. itself falls it back into Tiny Hut. <laughs> it's got a negative two to that roll. Yeah, it does. Negative four to that roll. <laughs> well, no, okay. it's got okay. it rolled a two minus four. So yeah. it was strength <laughs> owl. negative two. Vincent, do it's you know? Literally, just flapping there, just not moving him at all. Do you do you know if he hired anyone else? Uh, I mean, a couple of bounty hunters from uh, the south. Uh, apparently, some big scientists from out west. Any? Do you know of anyone else from the other country? Oh, please, please say no. That's what I'm hoping for. Please say no. All I know is some weapons contractor. Ah, uh, hell. Do you know them? No. I've heard of what them. Did you, what did you say my parents were? A weapon contractor? No. <laughs> okay. No, but we have heard of them. Yeah. Oh, at, the, shit. at the mention of the scientists, would it recall anything? Because you said from the West, right? Yes. So the other so, continent. Oh, as in, okay, fully west. Oh. Fuck. Big west. I probably have no okay, idea. Just making sure on that. Oh, but man. would I have any idea anyways, since I've been in now the academy so much? Uh, they're from Osby, specifically. Which the is, is the southern capital right? on the other continent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Good job. I know that. <laughs> no? Oh, I didn't I don't think I'd be able to roll that. history on that, would I? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Would I have it? Would I have a name at all, or just more their location? Uh, what was your history check? Three. No. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be up here. For... Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see, uh, twenty-six total. Uh, Pretty close. So you know that's with a going to thirteen. Weapons or weapons manufacturers from out west. Well, I meant the scientists more specifically. Oh, I know. Okay. Uh, the one you worry that it could be is Lucamina Hellheart. Where the fuck do you come up with these names? <laughs> okay, so I came up Honestly? with a new, I came up with a new plan involving the owl. My owl is going to it go to land on V's shoulder. I don't like this. I don't either. <laughs> and then V is That's going three. to hear V is going to hear my owl say, I need a hero in his ear, allowing it to cast the touch spell. A willing creature you touch is imbued with bravery. Is he is he willing? Is, are you willing, Ken? I mean I can be. T Tony's just existing. I don't think he's very. He, he's his mind is running through like a thousand different thoughts right now. <laughs> just with every day a person involved, he's just having more and more of a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, like present for the conversation, but in the way that you're present when you're thinking about six other things. <laughs> well, the point of casting the spell day. is uh, you're immune to being frightened, and you gain temporary hit points equal to <laughs> the casting modifier. So, it's basically like calm emotions. On crack. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So you gain. You gain four temporary hit points. Cool. And you're immune to being frightened, so maybe it would help you calm down a bit and. Okay. Not be so rigid. Okay. <laughs> Notice. <laughs> Rima, I hate that you're so obsessed with the contracts. What are you, Ursula now? <laughs> yes. Okay. So, anyways, so Lucamina uh, Luka Hillheart. Yep. It's on the list. There yep. Are three, there are like four <laughs> people in this fucking yeah. city. Which makes me more worried about who the scientist is. You know what? I, I mean, don't mean to press you, but do you know any names? Not specifically. 
Fair enough. They had freaking something that emulated the sun. So, problem. Uh, oh, dear. Hence, I'm on my way out of here. Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, If you want a guaranteed safe spot, as long as you're not rude to them, the kobolds and Omni would, are, would be pretty happy to take you as long as you mention my name, Treat. Oh, no, I'm heading south. I'm going to go to the cold weather. Uh, fair enough. A lot easier, a lot less sun. That's fair. Just thought I'd offer. Appreciate you, you see, he kind there's... of keeps messing with his mouth, and you uh, realize uh, one of his fangs is very much, like, broken in half. Oh, shit. I'm assuming everybody else left town? For the most part, a couple are still in hiding, trying to get out. So none of them would be willing to help us? I mean, when you got a weapon like that that can emulate the sun, you gotta be worried about it when you're my kind. Obviously. A lot of the werewolves got scared off when the Baron came calling. Because they didn't straight up run, they got forced to align to him. Ryan. Sam. Well, this is all happening. I'm going to cast Sending to my parents and ask if they're okay, because I'm getting drama. <laughs> uh, Goodbye, parents. <laughs> it's late at night. You mean, you know, I don't care. They know I don't sleep. <laughs> Bud, you okay? Everything okay? We're okay. Uh, the pets are all good. Uh, we just had a litter, actually. Oh. Uh, so, <sighs> Um, Littering's Treat. illegal. Shriek does like the biggest sigh of relief right now. And <laughs> they ask if you're okay, bud. I'm not answering back. <laughs> <laughs> there's too much to do right now. Then there's not. That's not going to be an answer that they want. Uh, <laughs> you know what? No, I'm not going to be a dick. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to send back. Uh, no, 100 percent no. Um, Freyfar is killing magical creatures. I am not too, I think four of the most, four, the, the, Freyfar is killing magical creatures. Listen, I'm not okay. I have to count this now. Uh, <laughs> I think four very powerful bad guy people are gathering to do something terrible to all magical creatures. Well, that's absolutely might, shit. I'm not done. I'm sorry. This possibly <laughs> could be goodbye, love, and that's it. <laughs> I'm not going to be a dick. I'm going to be a mega dick. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to be a mega dick. <laughs> you immediately get reamed out by your parents. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> How dare you just say goodbye like that? We're going to come beat your ass right now. I think you do this over the phone. <laughs> you better be careful. We find out otherwise. You, we're gonna resurrect you, beat your ass, kill you, resurrect you again. Yeah, it sounds about right. There's a very, very exhausted but kind of amused just smile on Trink's face, and then, okay. So possibly, we have four people who are on our list in one city. What the fuck do we do? I don't know. Oh, I don't hear this. Never mind. Uh, Reem, he goes to or car. He goes to. No, you're outside. You didn't get dragged into the thing. You're still outside. Well, well, I appreciate he's blanked out. <laughs> well, this is I kind of got to go back to my people. They okay, now you, me. my people. Need no, you're good. If you need anything, just don't be afraid to ask. That that was Vincent saying that. Yeah. Yes. I want to um I want to give him like a handshake hug sort of thing and say good luck my man and I want to slide him he, uh, like, ten he, platinum. He like handshakes you, but when you go to hug, he like keeps his distance. Like, oh, you smell like wet dog. Social distancing. Yeah, and you smell like shit. Take this. And I hand him ten platinum. Take care, everybody. Okay. Holy fuck. <laughs> he looks at you and he goes, "You're cute, kid." Hands it back to you. I've been living literal centuries. I have money. Money I don't. Yeah. Need. 
Can I give him a red cloak and a three-barrel shotgun? You don't have a three-barrel shotgun, so no. Screw you for that joke. Uh, oh damn, I already sold that shotgun. You're right. <laughs> Do we... What do we do? We follow we you guys' just... plan. We head into the city. We, also, just... we don't we have a plan. Now. We go and go to Blazing? plan was to go to Freyfa. I think we gotta get to Freyfa first. Also, a point of clarification. Uh, the Baron, to my knowledge, is not one of the motherfuckers we're hunting down. He's it's just nice. a shitbag. Oh, I thought he was on the list. No. Nope. Was. Oh, okay. The Baron, uh, if anyone who gives a shit about my life, the Baron was the guy who kind of whips us into shape when uh, we did our shit. Um, he's not the big hot head honcho motherfucker. He's just so, kind of his bitch. So, so keep hold of your hand. Got it. Kill him on yeah, sight. Get the uh, note. Anyway. I don't know what happens when I see him, so I very well could just run. I just out of fear. So, well, someone so you likes are salad. immune to being frightened. Mm -hmm. Forever? Until I, until I stop nothing. concentrating on the spell, you were immune to being forever. <laughs> not for the next like three, like, like my life. No, I'm just not afraid of shit. As long as I am concentrating on the spell, which is tiny huts technically down, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's wild. Hey, Bry. Oh, shit. Hey, Can I tap into? My dragon bond and try getting a hold of Zarissa. You surely can. <laughs> oh fucking hell. Like I have to worry about that. <laughs> Everyone's yeah, in their phone calls. Quite literally. Uh, you tap in and you feel the connection. Zarissa? Yes, TMA. My my blood kind of boils at that. We have a situation in Freyfar. Are you anywhere near there? You might want to look to the skies pretty soon. I don't like that. Like, not opening my eyes, but I look up, like, with my eyes closed, like, huh? This, when she does that, I kind of just look towards the sky, like, are you fucking blind or something? Yeah, I'm fucking blind right now. <laughs> you will watch as a sudden burst of fire comes from very far. Like an explosion? Yes. My sister in arms. I did not see that. So she heard that. Oh, what the that fuck happened? A... Is she on our side? A little bit of a Holy revenge. Have fun. I hate asking, asking for help. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, so a side note right now. What? Oh no. Darius mild surged. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> and has blipped out of existence again. <laughs> no. Thank God. He is now two inches tall instead of seven. <laughs> oh. <laughs> getting there. He's getting he tiny. Smaller than his original. <sighs> he lost him. He's gone. Where'd he go? So, I think we're gonna actually need need a plan. Can't fit in those clothes I bought. Because. So I'm assuming <laughs> that the connection just dies there. Yep. I I open my eyes. Uh, you see the fires blooming. I, I, I pull out my I pull out my map. The fire just gets put out instantly because of the storm. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Does the fire that, that a lot the of location shit. that I'm thinking of? Yes, it does. Um, which map are we referring to? My personal map. Yeah. To the oh, map that okay. tells her every uh, church location. This oh. bitch. Okay, so uh, I'm going to then pull out the map that shows the cities as we enter them and see if it matches, like, on my map. 
Uh, so when you look on your map, uh, you see uh, the building that T seems to be specifically looking at is literally crumbling on your map. He just sniped uh, the monastery of the city. That's that's a good thing, right? No, actually, that's a distraction. You could maybe sneak in because they're distracted by a fucking building blowing up. But once I we're in, we still need a plan. I might have been able to get some information out of that freaking monastery. Oh. Um, Someone says you can't what? sell. There might be shit there left over, but uh, again, I think we got some bigger problems on our hands right now. I mean... Fire tornado, go! I could always I know. talk to the skulls if they're there. Oh, getting some education from the scholars. Please don't. No. It's... I'm about to the just plan. walk into the city and let them take me. Because <laughs> the, the backup that I was hoping to have. No, not not a thing. There's not much we can do right of now. Because if if there in, is indeed a big swarm of powerful people in there. As much as I trust in our strength, I don't think we can do this alone. Who the fuck do we have, then? Well, I've been keeping a, a contact with a lot of people, but the, the closest ones probably are too busy, so I have no idea what we're supposed to fucking do. Brian. I'm not afraid to pay a random cost. That's Let's try something. <laughs> I thought that was the answer to this. I want to take a couple steps away from the group. Okay. And then I want to pull out the deck of cards I swapped out at Absane's house for my deck mm -hmm. of illusions. Okay. This bitch. <laughs> All right. Motherfucker. I don't remember how they work again. I do. Tell me. Just vaguely told how these work, so he's gonna try this. I'm gonna I'm gonna say into the deck of cards, will we find allies in Freyfa? And I'm gonna draw a card. Oh, that's what those do. Fucking wouldn't fucking tell me shit. <laughs> you pull uh, a card that is just a woman covered in lightning. Uh, on initial <laughs> reaction, uh, give me a. I know you don't have this skill, but give me an Arcana check. <laughs> he has a little I mean, bit. I have Hunter's Bane, but I don't think this is Fabian's Undead. It is not. Oh, that was almost fantastic. Seven. Okay. Make a reroll. This was important. Um, <laughs> we do have those. And we have another left. And I don't want to get in the combat this session right now. So <laughs> I do though. No. I'll use a. I'll, I'll use a. Mm, yeah, sure. This one. I bet you do. Four. I'll use a reroll. <laughs> this is why. It's a nineteen. Four. I knew who they are. Jesus Christ. No. Nope. I'm not to know this. Yeah, no, fuck. I'm sorry. That's too many. That's too many. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all you know is there is an, a powerful individual here. Okay, so sense of warning, I'm guessing? Yes. Okay. Um, just That's all I need. I'll just go back to the group. He's like pulling out a list that he made of all the people we've ever befriended, and he's looking at a map like, hmm, who's the closest? Your dad's. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> we could... <sighs> like I mentioned Adelaide. before, if y'all don't mind... Treak. If y'all don't mind uh, paying a random price, we could ask to pay. <laughs> You're the only Fae I trust right now, Therius, and that's stretching it. 
Okay. Okay. Far away. <laughs> which which face specifically would we be asking? I don't know. I never went to the other side of the fairy circle. So that's oh. So when you say wild guess, you literally oh jeez. T T's just kind of staring at the fire, like yeah, no, that that's that's not worth it. Uh, I mean, you never know. It could be someone who wants to take revenge on the city for you know the whole fairy haunt. If you would like to ask questions, go ahead and ask questions. Yeah, if anyone's going to ask that, it's probably best if you do. But I don't, I don't, I don't know if any of they probably destroyed all the fairy circles in the city. If they if they tore down the the tavern, they probably destroyed the fairy circles. Destroy the connection to the Feywilds. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Maybe they did. They. He's an incredibly magical, powerful being. I don't. He might have. Wiz, give me an Arcana check. Okay. <laughs> you bastard. Fucking re-rolling that shit. Fuck you. <laughs> it cocked on a sixteen. Rerolled. It was a one. Like nope. <laughs> Arcana twenty-one. Cannot sense the storm elemental. Mm. You do get a sense, but you don't have as deep a connection with the other. But you can sense it. Okay. Uh, Treek. Mm hmm. Got the juice. I might have somebody we could try to talk to for some interest. I have plenty of spells if we're not going into the city. I'll say this right now if we're not planning to fight anyone right now, and that's fine. <laughs> we're we're, we're, we're going to need to plan regardless. I don't think okay. the idea is to do anything crazy today. Is well, the fire then... still blazing? Yeah. Should we at least... I'm of the opinion and... that we should at least start heading towards the city. The city's big enough where they're not just going to see us on site. Well, yeah, no, heading towards is fine. As long as we don't do anything drastic today, who do you want me to contact? I need to try to get that under control. R ring up the crow. See if he knows anything about what's going on. Uh, with that little well, gnomish guy we met. Uh, no, I, I know who he is. I have him on the list. I didn't have him talk to him, but he's on the list. Um, I guess I'll see how he is. I'll cast sending to the crow. Okay. And ask if he has any. If he do you, this is true. Uh, I am I'm trying to word this so that way he doesn't just get suspicious as fuck. <laughs> I'm an associate of Tony's. Do you have any information about the operations going on inside of Freyfar and or information on any of the powerful people that have met there. We could really use that information. Who the fuck is Tony? You never know Tony. Yeah. Call me Tony. That's not, God damn it. You went by V to the crow. Yeah, yeah. I went by V to the crow. Uh, then I'll do it again and say V. My apologies. I meant V. Ah, Listen, yeah. it's a stressful day. <laughs> well, lover boy. Uh, <sighs> uh, I know that a lot of big materials have been brought to the city recently. Um, all our friend had to say was and, uh, Bethos has been ordering a shit ton of massive materials. I mean... That's all he really had to say. That's information, I guess. I'll have to thank him later for that. Um, fuck. Thinking he has all we, we don't have much... We really don't have anyone we can just 
I heard Reem for a moment. Yeah. yeah too. Just in the yeah, void. I hear Reem. Little whispers off in the distance. Is that a car? Not anymore. You jinxed it. Oh, that more screws. You said his name and now it's not gonna work anymore. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm the one, now that I'm not definitely afraid of everything in that city, I wish to go find Dolores, and people can come with me or not, but I think we gotta confirm or deny who we know is alive in that city right now. We I oh, yeah. have to go towards the monastery. We gotta go in there. So, um, are we splitting the party? We, no, absolutely not. Well, I'll well, go. I was gonna to say, you. who wants disguise kits? Because I have a disguise kit and two costumes, so I can I can disguise you, so they won't know who you are. I think disguising the clear, the the clearly known werewolf might be an idea. No, no, be useless. <laughs> they, they, they don't know me off my look. They know me off my scent. Disguising is not going to change that. Walk close to me. They won't be able to smell you at all. Kindly, I'd fucking never. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'd rather just fucking sink into the sewers. Um, wow. Rude. No, no. <laughs> all go. I think you all should just go to the monastery with tea. I can be sneaky on my own. I can just run out there, check on people, and get, meet you with you guys. Hmm. I mean, if they can get your smell, are you really going to be that? That's a good point. You did just bring up scent. I don't know if you can Listen, sneak around. At again, point. no offense to all of you, but the only person who can really keep up with me needs to go to the monastery. I mean, I could turn into like a rat or something and follow you. With you if I just ride on your shoulder. Someone wants to come with, that's fine. I'm just saying, I, I, I know I'm the sneakiest person here. I cast press to digitation on you and make you smell like strawberries. I, I, I don't think that's how wolf scent works, guy. I, I just don't. Girl, for one, and for two... Everyone's a guy. What are you talking about? It's just like I call him. Guy, my, my guy. Everyone's my guy. <laughs> uh, Look at this it, dude. It instantly replaces your scent with the smell of strawberries. You just smell like strawberries now. For an hour. Basically, if they're tracking you up to this point, they won't be able to follow your scent from here. Okay. Uh, that's all I'm saying. I just want to go do that. If people want to go to the, the, the place, that's fine. I can come with you guys. I cannot. It just that's, that's my biggest concern right now. Well, at, at least take Darius. He can ride on your shoulder. Just I mean, meet honestly, us when you can. I would say take Tree. Because, you know, we have Sarah here who can cast message spells over the long distance. We have Treek who can cast messaging spells over the long distance. That's a good point. I can just turn into a spider and hide in your cloak. I can change into the size of a fairy and make my cauldron the size of a cup. Well, let's how about we're getting too into this. Let's just decide when we get to the city. Let's see what everything looks like. Maybe we'll meet someone up who's running out of the city before then. True, that's a good point. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, which direction are you guys going to enter the city from? North or east? No, west. Which one's closer to the monastery? Uh, the northern. I would be going towards the northern one. Uh, That's where the fairy circle was. Everyone gave me a perception check. That's what oh, yes. Perception. Oh, fuck. Well, I'm rolling that. Fuck you. 26. 16. 27. 24. Cool. Pretty much everyone. Bumps are ruined. Fairy circles have been ripped up and lined with salt. I. There's that question. Well, I guess that's that how answer. you destroy. 
And since I tell you to destroy a fairy circle. Can I murder them? <laughs> oh, yes. I, I don't. Sure. Except for Nias, if Nias is here, everyone else is dead here. There he is. Yes. As you get closer, this isn't normal salt. This is silver lined. Or iron lined, not silver. If it's iron line, that means it can catch fire. It can. Let's not cause that chaos just yet. Let's yeah, let's wait just a bit. <laughs> just a fireball. <laughs> we don't want them to know that we're here just yet. In time. In time, you'll trust me. In time, we'll let you just do whatever the fuck you want in the city. As you enter, you see people are. Some people are panicking towards the fire. Some are panicking away. Darius does go hide in T's hood. Uh. Tony. As soon as you enter the city, all you can smell is the scent of a pack. Yeah. Good, good pack, friendly pack. I'm gonna keep drinking like flowers, like um lavender around Tony, not only to distract his scent, but so that way he's not too panicked that like always constantly smelling the pack. Uh, yeah, you guys start to head towards the temple. Uh, you see, uh, a couple in the- On the way- Go ahead. On the way there, do we see anyone of, like, notes on the way there? Like, someone watching, someone making rounds? Give me a perception check. Mm. Oh, as a reminder, I'm still holding concentration on heroism. Uh, 27. Tony is still currently immune to being frightened. So you're holding concentration. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Brain go burr. <laughs> yeah, they do. All right. Uh, everybody, first second check. Uh, twenty-seven. That's what I got. There is seven eighteen. Yep. Oh, no, another set. Okay. Yep. This one is for something. I got fifteen. That's a natural 20 for once. Oh, oh damn. So it's He's making three in total. <laughs> Oof. Car game, natural. Oh, what car game? Car I have a Nintendo membership. Dude. 22. All right. All oh, in panic mode. So, uh, those of you with a 18 or high, uh, you see. Uh, there are very clearly a few individuals watching the crowd. Uh, okay. With your natural 20. For what? Some perception. Right. You see uh, a few individuals on the roofs. Specifically, you see one individual running away. In the flames. Oh. Of course. Can I ascertain which direction they're running? They if... are running towards the southern entrance. Let me just roll for this. Uh, Tony, I also need an insight check from you. Insight? Mm hmm. 15. Uh, at least three of the individuals that are on the ground are definitely lichens. What the fuck happened here? Like the ones that are like watching the scene play out. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought you meant, like... Okay. No, they're not dead bodies. 
<laughs> they are resurrected. Oh, Car has been here already. <laughs> so, okay, what are you doing? I'm gonna duck off into an alleyway, bamf out my wings to get up onto the roof, and try to chase out to this individual. Okay. Uh, Anyone can do that. Kind of... <laughs> I figured as much. Well, I get to see him do that. I mean, yeah, one way or another, you're definitely fucking seeing it. <laughs> I do not have that high of a stealth. And I have a 20. I'm aware of that. So. <laughs> uh, let's go with this guy. I wouldn't about to ask if anyone saw him. Let me just re-roll that one, just in case. Oh, he was got my second one. That's... Uh, 16. Uh... You are kind of watching this individual as you're following them. And every now and then you see they kind of dip their head behind and you kind of duck down just in time to get out of view. Oh my god. Uh, but you see they continue to head towards the southern exit. Uh, what's your flight speed? I believe it's just the same as my running speed. It should be. Alright, she's getting distance uh, on you. 30. Quickly. Well, if I use dash and all that stuff. So can she. Okay. So she's faster than me? Oh, yeah. At least okay. 45. Well, at least I know it's a she now. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling I know who this is. Oh, yeah, no, I think I know who this is. I'm just going to keep following anyways. Just see um, whatever information I can gather. I'm going to mentally take a note that... The, kid, the one person who shouldn't be leaving the party left the party. Um, I... Wait, I should have. I do. Of course I have that on all the time. I'm going to use Expeditious Retreat. What's that make your movement speed? Um, you can the bonus action. Yeah, so technically 90. 90. Yep. Okay. So you're literally keeping pace with them. It's been a while since I've looked at my spells. I'm like, what the fuck do I even have anymore? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're literally just keeping pace with them. Okay. And I will follow. So the rest of you, you guys get closer. Um, see some of the individuals that are kind of blocking, kind of give you guys side eyes as you get closer. Do um, any of them seem to recognize us or like make a note that we're targets or anything like that? Everyone give me an insight. Nope. It wouldn't on me because my hood has been up the whole That's time. That's not what I'm worried about. Uh, 19. 17. 24. Six. Thank fuck. We have someone going above 20. <laughs> 18. 18. Uh, Ooh, that's sigh. They. Mm -hmm. As you get closer to uh, the church, you pass by one of the individuals. Your eyes lock for a brief moment. And that full panic of realization of who it is clicks in your head. And you oh, your eyes with the Baron. Oh, no. <laughs> a sly grin as he lets you walk by. You can't be framed. You can't be framed. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you I literally even... can't be afraid. <laughs> you have bravery how, right now. How far away? Don't let him roll the dish on your ass. Oh, oh fucking man. Great. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> he lets you walk by. He's, he can't be panicked. He's not going to do anything. He's not going to be afraid. So he's just going to like, like. Keep so his he ears up. To punch him in the face. He's probably he... tempted. I, I don't. Do I don't know what. Okay. I don't know what level of fear here... is imbued with bravery. Until the spell ends, the creature is immune to being frightened and gains temporary hit points. He's brave, uh, not stupid. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's yeah, the proper word. I, I know want. not to fuck with this guy, though I want to. He's tempted. So are there people coming out of the monastery or no? Uh, you see some 
uh, fire genasi are pulling people out, uh, a lot of these people are very much dead. They... Should we get in there and help? Or... Um... Uh... Yeah. Uh, T doesn't answer you. She just starts running in. Oh, shit. Uh, I'll go, too. Fucking... T. Yeah. As you get in there, and you kind of initially, something catches your eye immediately. As you see specifically one of the daggers you and Zarissa were trained with in the wall and hanging below it is the Judgment Tarot card from uh, Bartholomew's deck. I, I take down the knife and the card. And I just stash them in my bag for now. And I'm... I appreciate you, Reem. I'm going to attempt to find anybody alive. And try to, like, lessen the damage. Uh, give me a uh, perception check. 17. Uh, you are kind of looking around, trying to find anything. And then you look behind the altar, and you see a small boy just cowering in fear under it. I immediately grab him. Uh, yeah, he goes completely limp. He grabs me. I, I just quickly bring him out. We have adopted a child. No. Mm -hmm. Is he breathing? Or he's breathing? He's barely conscious. He's definitely taking in a lot of smoke. Uh, As you get out, my medicine check's not good either. Yes, you start to hear cracks from behind you, and people start to shout, "Get out of the way!" As you watch the church fully fall in on itself, and you watch as spellcasters put up magic quick, essentially to contain the. Uh, falling. I, I I hand him off to the nearest person, and I kind of just like watch it fall. <laughs> Can I use my breath weapon as cold to start like? Killing the fire, essentially. I was actually gonna ask if I could do the same thing. Uh, okay, well, I guess since actually, I have a child, I need. I need. Give me just a moment, please. How dare! I don't want to now. <laughs> yes. Trick, I need a perception check at disadvantage from you. It's only twenty-three. <laughs> uh. Fuck it, I'll use my last reroll to reroll at three. I'm not right. Oh. Well, it's 14. That's after one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sad. <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you guys. Um, there is. Sad Who are you now. on right now? Me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need an opposed athletics check from me. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Fucking goddammit. Wait, who? You. you. Fuck! <laughs> Why, uh, I just said goddammit too. I'll tell you right <laughs> now. Natural 20. Natural 20? Natural 17. 17. Spoiler alert. Oh my alert, god. You need god. to reroll. Uh, I, I natural 20 as well. Uh, Rollies. <laughs> yes. Technically, okay. he has a higher strength. But because it's a natural 20, I'll allow it. I mean, I'm not gonna... What'd he get? 
11. 13! <laughs> 13! 13 minus 3! Uh, you feel for a brief moment someone grab you around the throat, and you just kind of gut punch them. Um, and as you look behind to see who it is, you recognize it as one of the uh, lichens from the bar. Not I come like I come like this close to bring a knife to his throat. What the God, fuck? I thought it was the Baron. I thought we were about to have a fucking brawl right like, fucking now. Uh, oh, I thought the Baron would do that. And you recognize his eyes. It's a lucky if anything. He has the same eyes that you saw many of the other lichens that were specifically under the Alpha's call that the Baron had. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. As he so to- Tony. At you and runs. Tony is no longer scared. He has realized that the fuck's happening and it's turned to, turn to everybody. To, we gotta go. We gotta go now. You were right. We, we, we can't be here anymore. What? 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 No time to. Sh- we need to get holding away. Holding a fucking from, child. We're way too, this is way too. We're way too in the open. Oh, I'll explain shit. later, but we're way too obvious right now. T, did you get everything you need? Unless T's still in the building, technically. No, the building fell. Fucking. Okay, so she's standing right in front of the building. Uh, Unless fucking. She's... Yeah, she's she's not paying attention to anything. Motherfucking. Shouting T's name, running up to them. T, hey, hey. What? We gotta go, come on. No. What do you mean no? I thought you ate at this place. Let's go. That doesn't mean they needed to be dead. They were manipulated. They deserved a second chance, just like we do. Yeah, well, we're not gonna get one if we don't fucking run now, so I think we gotta go. I I grabbed the kid that was still alive. Alright. So you take him a tree? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they were adopting him. It was been all just awkwardly old age child, just like, uh. The cooking campaign all over again. <laughs> Oh hell yeah! Um, I'm gonna <laughs> mess. Just sitting on T's shoulder, like, what the fuck is going on right now? History repeats itself. Um, can I do a medicine check on the kid as she goes dragging him off? <laughs> uh, yeah, he definitely has taken smoke inhalation. All right, you know that. Uh, you can give me a medicine check to essentially get him back breathing. Yeah, I'm I'm going to slow her down for a moment and try to get him him breathing a bit better. Uh I'm going to re-roll that. <laughs> Nat 20 on the re-roll. Cool. Uh you get the kid back breathing. God. And you watch as he coughs up smoke. Are, are are you okay? Do you have a family or something? He's in shock right now. Hey, hey, it's okay. Where is your mother? Take care of you. <laughs> I'm going to send. I'm going to, I'm going to use a feature of my wild chip to make a familiar of an owl, and I'm going to have it dash the direction that fucking K went. Because we're not going to be the same spot we were at. I'm not going to have K look for us. So I'm just going to send an owl to go fucking find, to go the direction he went. Because I definitely saw him go. <laughs> yep. uh, Question is where your owl? You know, what the owl would know. I have a mental link with a broad twenty feet. I wouldn't know where you went. <laughs> right now, I I get how this might seem suspicious, T. But can we just put the kid in the cauldron, and then have the cauldron fly to keep up? I know that it's Baba Yaga's cauldron, but also <laughs> that's what I was thinking too. It's like the same for Baba Yaga, indeed. <laughs> I got him. That's fine. Fucking go somewhere. Where are you guys going? I have a really shitty idea. We do know a very isolated, very well protected place underground in this city. Do you want to go there right now? No, but do we have anywhere else to hide? No, you got a point. It's it's our only option. Let's go there. So obvious enough. So you guys start to head to the hunter's former lair. Uh, and he's alive again. No. Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I need 
Uh, what are you doing as you're following this individual? They're about to exit the city. I'm just following them for as long as I can, just to try and get something, some sort of information as to possibly where they're going, if they're meeting anyone, stuff like that, pretty much. Uh, they seem to be heading specifically to... to, to... Uh, to the south, to a city you have not previously been. Mm -hmm. That seems to be their intent. They do not stop at all. Mm, clothing recognizable at all or anything? Uh, long black cloak. Um, perception? Yeah, give me a perception. Because those go well. Oh, you fucker. Nope. Nothing else that you can tell from this. <laughs> the five total. Yep. Nothing else that you can tell immediately. But you could probably follow her for a long time. She seems to not have any intent to stop. I'll, I eventually stop on one of the rooftops more on the outskirts and just kind of watch from afar as my wings dissipate because it's only a minute, so. Yeah, as your wings dissipate and you see her just take off full sprint and then shift into shadow. Uh, the rest of you. As you arrive at, oh. uh, which entrance are you attempting to use? Secret one's better. I mean, yeah, if we can get down the secret one, probably. Uh, I need each of you to roll me a history check to remember which tree. Look. Nope. 16. 13. 25. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, shit. <laughs> T's just like out of my way. <laughs> tree, Sarah and T, you all remember the tree? I beat the DC, fuck yeah. <laughs> the DC. Ooh. And Car oh, remembers, my... because of course Car remembers. He was obsessed <laughs> with this place. Yoki, that means uh, As you guys head in, uh, how, are you guys just going in? I'm fucking looking around first, listening yeah. to bullshit before I even dare think this is fine. I was gonna volunteer to stealth ahead of everybody to scout if possible. Up to you. If people allow me, like I, I didn't see the tree, so I'm not. I don't have that choice. I'd be staying to the back of the party. And then I'd have my owl following about uh, following about a hundred feet behind me. So who's going first? As you slide the tree bark aside, I will go first and stealth. I no said his zombies go first. <laughs> God. Okay. How many do you send down? I'm gonna wait like like a solid ten seconds and then follow the zombies. Okay. Uh, I need a stealth check for the zombies and a stealth check for you, car or uh, the. Ooh, that's shitty. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to add a dice to that, make it 18. Okay. If the zombies are even stealthing. If they're not, it's fine. Uh, the tone out of your voice. What tone? That tone. That snarky asshole? I can't. Yes. It's literally ingrained in my being. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a tone. That's just my speech. This 
just waiting on Reams to answer quick. Because that will very much Stop. change what happens next. Okay. No stealth. Uh, cool. Mm. Uh, they go down. Uh, you go down just after them, and you immediately hear the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor! Good song. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Uh, as all six zombies are struck down immediately as there are Jesus. four guards at the bottom of the stairs. Boy. Do I see that? <laughs> you, you kind of poke your head just down. They see me. No. <laughs> you see the last zombie get struck down by a long pole arm. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't have... You know, funny, I left my grenades at home today. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna skeeter on back upstairs and say... Oh, uh, my smoke potions. What do you need a grenade for when you got a fairy with fireball? Yeah, what happened uh, down there? Why do you, is there guards or something? Uh, yes, actually. Explicitly, I thought this place would be abandoned. I was wrong. Hey, isn't this the place with the frickin' well? Yes. <laughs> so they were supposed to guard it. Well, you see. <laughs> I mean, yeah. at least... Well... Even if it's for a bad reason, they are defending it from people using the well. They were Dude. told... Yeah, they were told to protect it. I'm and not gonna lie. It. Completely forgot about the well. Entirely did forgot that existed. I did. Well, <laughs> I know you did. Hi, Cyrus okay. and Tony forgot about that. <laughs> little girl just crawls out of the well. Well, it's a good thing you just sent Undead down, because that's probably normally what happens. Do you want me to go ask if it's okay if we, like, crash here? No. Say we're refugees? Uh, no. What the fuck are we do? Well, I mean, we're kind of out of town. You just want to go camping for the night? I think we're going to fucking have to at this rate. All right, I just went go. full Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's great. That was, that was cute. Scottish I didn't get fuck out of hot town. <laughs> God damn, I felt it. I was like, I hope no one fucking says anything. Let's go to where we right. ate the magic beans before. Get the fuck out of here. Um, you guys, as you guys are kind of trying to discuss this, uh, an old woman comes up behind you all. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, do you need a place to stay? Inside check. Host. <laughs> <laughs> It's Baba Yaga in disguise. I really fucking hope it's Baba Yaga in disguise. <laughs> that I, I fucking, uh, that's a 20... <laughs> um, Listen, this is valid? I don't want to hear it. No, it is, it is. You're just like trying to ditch. <laughs> it's just like, mm. Drake, with that roll, uh, you mm -hmm. recognize the eyes. As is it actually Bob Logan? No. <laughs> as one of the sets of eyes that was looking at you from one of the other shack buildings out here. Oh, oh. shit. Okay. Do I sense, like, genuine care, or do I sense a trap? Uh, genuine care, especially the moment she sees the child. Okay. So I give, I'd like, uh, yes, very much so. Well, come with me. I don't have much, but I offer what I can. Come with me if you want to leave. I give everyone, like, a reassuring nod, and I follow the lady. <laughs> uh, she takes you kind of across the dirt road and into uh, one of the sm uh, okay-sized huts. This one is not as ransacked as even the Hunters was before you guys went in initially. Hey. Uh, you enter in, and it is very small. No lights are hey. currently on. Hey, fine. Uh, you see she immediately goes over to a small candle and lights it quick and uh, illuminates the room. A lot of it is just cloth everywhere. It's better than nothing. Uh, you see she pulls down some of the cloths, lays out, lays them out for you all to lay down. Um, Ness, if you, if you don't mind... 
uh, I, I'd like to hang the Lantern of Revealing on the, like, if there's a stud on the on the ceiling. Go for it. Sure. And then light that in the room so it, it provides a more even light. Uh, one second. Oh. oh. A Lantern of Revealing, you say? Let's see what you reveal. Uh, so as you light it, oh, fuck. you see a small creature up in the top corner just looking down on you all. Oh? Got a creature, is it? Um, Detect magic. It is non-magical. Uh, everyone give me a history check. Oh, suck. Of course. With a nine. All the rules that I'm not there for. Medicine, history, you know, the works. 19. Uh, it gives very similar vibes to the Tommyknockers. Oh. Does it seem friendly? Is it safe? It doesn't seem <laughs> intent to attack. Okay, I'll take, at this fucking rate, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> she notices it. Oh, hen hello, Henry. And it kind of pops down, and uh, you see as like it seems to shift itself, and kind of like takes a seat at the base of her, what would be her bed. Friend of yours? We you just kind of nods at it. <laughs> kind of. I saved it from experimentation. And he hides okay, here now, most so... days. Oh. So you're clearly not afraid of what's going on in the city right now. Oh no, I'm terrified. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> so Jeez. I'm going to use my alchemy jug to produce the oil that I need to keep the lantern of revealing burning for four hours. All right. Uh, you see, this thing kind of looks at the boy quickly and kind of. You see, he initially tries to grin. And you realize, um, like most of the Tommy Knockers you all saw had like m teeth that were made of rock and glass and different ores. Uh, he's got like two teeth made of wood. So he looks real fucking goofy. Just mm. like the kid initially is terrified of this thing and then just realizes, oh, this thing's goofy as fuck. Just gives a little chuckle to it. Uh, with, with that, T will kind of like kneel down, I guess. And what's your name? Andre. They actually gave you a name. We were new induction. Had a name before the church. Hold on, insight. Inductions is a really big word for some random orphan kid. <laughs> he wasn't an orphan. Now he's an orphan. Yeah. Were Were you born in, into the monastery, or did they take your family in? They took us in when we got to pray for. What are your abilities, if you don't mind my asking? Uh, you watch as he kind of quickly uh, twists his hands around, and you see a small marble appear. I can do that. We have oh. recruited a child. I like this kid. <laughs> what does Someone the have marble recruited do? Shit. <laughs> I can play with him. So that's why they gave you a name. You see, he kind of leans down and flips it over towards Henry. Who immediately picks it up and starts trying to bite it. Obviously, he has wooden teeth. It does not work. He's just essentially gumming it like... I'm going to use my cauldron to create... 10 gold worth of crushed quartz. 
So it's little fragmented shards of quartz, and I'm just going to hand a handful down to him. You know uh, what? You just for safety. Immediately smacks her hand. No. We're still training him. He does not get real teeth. I'm going to cast Pass without a trace, so we can't be tracked magically. He's still a biter a little bit. And, Hunter and that inc- smiles at you. That includes, so there's no limit, so that includes the woman, the Tommy Knocker, and the child. You cannot be tracked magically right now. Okay. Uh, Kay, what are you doing during all this? Uh, you run into Tariq's eyes. With the view of the city that I have right now, is there anything distinct that I see at all? Yeah. Outside of the storm, the fire, etc.? You know, fucking construction, fucking. How long has it been, Brian? Oh, that's not bad. Eighteen. Eighteen. Actually, yeah, eighteen. And also, I'm just gonna pop a quick scene visibility now that I have those, just to be on the safe side. Uh, Lantern root of revealing's up. Well, he's somewhere else. Oh. Yeah, he's he was chasing somebody. I forget. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, on your initial perception check, uh, the biggest thing you notice is there are very large dogs wandering the streets. Large, as in how as big? About uh. K transform size. Shit. this shit down, boys. Uh, the other thing you notice is the storm centered directly on the university. That feeling. And it's swirling around it. Yeah, that doesn't make it look like a creepy haunted castle or anything. <laughs> oh, not at all. Hey, Kay. Mm-hmm. I need it. What was your perception? Uh, 18 total. Okay. Uh, you suddenly feel a choking come around you as you watch this a mist come above you and you see this writhing smoky beast look into your eyes very different energy from the other elemental you see it squeeze hello master i'm gonna use my telekinetic shove quickly and try <laughs> and get it off me uh go ahead and try no you have to roll a fucking saving throw my guy what is it <laughs> uh, strength saving throw of like, let's see, dexterity, proficiency, book score. Oh, fuck math. Mood. 17 is the DC. It beats. Okay. No, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> No, it no. doesn't. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. We will it's play not. this game again. I don't want to play this Oh, fuck, you're right. I mean, this never is mind. doing something else, that but okay. That was my second one. Uh, that one does not pass. Yes. Okay. That works. Okay. Fuck. Uh, I mean, I had my armor of magical strength that could have helped there, but okay. No, fuck you, it's happening. <laughs> it, it's almost the end of stream. Uh, so what, yeah, it's fine. what happens? What telekinetic shove do? It just pushes them back five feet from me. Uh, you see, it shifts back and just stares at you, and you see the center of it. Unlike the other elemental, this one is fiery. A steam comes off it. And you see the crystal at its center is literally radiating the cool air as the rest of it overheats it, causing it to smoke. And it 
it just glares at you. Mask, oh, do you want to have some fun with us? He would like a word. I'm sure he would. He'd be so ecstatic to see you back in town. You watch as the wind picks up and it blows away towards the university. What do you do? You That's see a the owl good fucking question. is very freaked out. Freaks out was like, uh The owl is gonna like try to drag him towards the where we are right now after seeing what the fuck just happened. <laughs> It's, it's being gentle. It's like gently grabbing at your cloak with its feet and trying to pull you in a direction. Do you fall okay? That's also a very good question. Yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Uh, takes about, uh, are you taking the roofs or are you getting down? I have no fucking <laughs> acrobatic ability, so I'm going to go as far as I can and then make my way down to the ground. Alright, I need a stealth check from you. <laughs> of course. Let's see, what die do I trust with my life right now? Guess I'll go with this one. Oh, that's definitely something I fucking trust, because that's a natural 20. <laughs> Yo! Thank uh, book. It's very good, because they got a 10 plus 8. On their perception. Oh. They have advantage because Swallows are fucking werewolves. Mmm. Chummy bitch. Let's <laughs> give that impression. Uh, I have a few things in my so sleeve. Chummy bitch. Kind of sneak your way through. You'll see one of the wolves kind of flip around real quick. Uh, but you make your way following the owl slowly. And you arrive at this house. Very weird. Weak like, sensing that they're 120 feet away. <laughs> Motion for Katie to get the fucking. <laughs> I walk away. No, <laughs> I oh, walk inside. Did. I will wild shape. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, you see, uh, the little boy is at this point sound asleep. Uh, you see the Tommy knocker in the corner, just trying, still trying to chew the marble. And the old woman just is kind of watching over all of you. No. Oh. How was your little... She doesn't even know I'm there yet. How was your little escapade of running off? Okay. Doesn't respond. Just kind of staring at the scene. Hey, fair enough. He'll drop it and just go like sit down. More like he's kind of not ignoring, but more. No, no, yeah. Mentally elsewhere, just to specify. The owl is just going to stay on your shoulder. I'm not desummoning you, I'm too tired. <laughs> is there anything else you guys would like to discuss before taking your rest? They were on the way when they were on the way there. Did the owls see anyone sketchy on the way here? Other than the multitude Number. of werewolves and oh, I'm following K, basically. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Like I figured there were werewolves. I just want to make sure the owl wasn't being fucking stuck. No. Uh, but it did notice a few other individuals on the roofs. None of them followed K, but there were about three or four individuals hopping from roof to roof as K. Did they look like werewolves or no? <laughs> what is the range on your your not us not being tracked spell? Uh, it is. A 30 foot 
um, radius. Okay, 30 foot sphere. Centered on, yes. Okay. I believe Private um, Sanctum does something similar, except for you can't be hurt or something, I believe. The, I didn't the, realize he casted that, so. <laughs> the point that I'm making is that um, we can have both of our owls go up on the roof and keep an eye out. How long have been since we've left the monastery? Uh, it's probably been about 45 minutes. Okay, my owl has an hour and 15 minutes left of existence. <laughs> I don't have fine familiar. It is my wild shape, basically. <laughs> that was, uh, but if there's nothing else you guys would like to discuss for the evening, that's where we'll end tonight. Yeah. Uh, well, once again, uh, hopefully it won't be as long a hiatus. Hopefully we can figure out some stuff. Uh, I'll once again keep you guys updated. What are we going to fucking come back to this? <laughs> I know, right? It's going to be so stressful. <sighs> no, it's fine. It's great. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, exactly. Saying it's not control. fine. I'm, I'm just saying Jesus fucking Christ. Ri- Somebody. Go ahead. Somebody put in their notes that in the morning I'm gonna have my cauldron produce ten gold worth of carrots and potatoes and leeks that I'm just going to dump on this lady's floor. <laughs> I'm not putting that down because that's rude. Beast, tell me you're washing the cauldron before you do that. What from yeah. the broken quartz that's definitely still in the bottom of it? My God, I'm not ready to look that. That poor lady. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Hey, but can someone make a note for me? For what? Oh, morning, for that? I'm making waffles. <laughs> that I'll take a fucking note. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I respect it. All right. I'm going to end stream, guys. Uh. <laughs>